But I mean, I'm, so I'm saying there's some actual things that offset the machine, right? There's some genuine things there. But this is something that is, um, it just cuts into the entire brick institution of how they get a conviction. See what I'm saying? Like, just take for a second if they're a little bit off every time. How many, how many arrests to get people that are on the money point oh eight? You know, and they don't, you know what I mean? And it's just a little, it's off enough where it would be well, a that's .07. Why, that's why it should be the other way. And if you're a point oh six and you're driving erratically and you're impacted at point oh six to that level, you should go to jail. Yeah, I think so, And too. if you're at point one two, same thing. And if you're at point oh eight, if you're driving in an unsafe manner and you're, you've been drinking and the officer can demonstrate that, then I'm sorry, you, you don't belong on the road. And at the end of the day, like Steve said, you got to pull them off. It's a safety but, issue. But somebody may not be... They may kill somebody before they... Yeah, but we're, we, as a country, we can't contemplate what might happen in the future. And if right. there's no evidence... I mean, maybe someone at point, point oh eight. I, I assume especially a very large person probably is not in, uh, as intoxicated at that level as someone that is is uh, you know smaller. I I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. Could it could be that. Then you have the you know hardcore drinkers versus mm -hmm. people who don't drink a lot. You may have a very heavy guy who's doesn't drink very often might have two beers and be yeah, maybe be messed up you know that's an interesting point i do think that many of the people that get the tolerance factor drawn into the world of uh drunk driving convictions i think there's a widespread but you will find a s large percentage of them are people that don't normally drink mm -hmm. you know they're coming home from a hockey game opening day party a bar mitzvah wedding you know what i mean and it's like a rarity, they find they're at a party, they have a couple extra drinks, something weird happens, you know what I mean? They don't normally drive. That, you know, that happens quite a bit, you know what I mean? I don't think people, but then you also have people that I think are... Yeah, know, but they should be punished, right? If they're, if they're driving in a way that's unsafe to you and, you and I and they've been drinking. Well, I say that they may be... I mean, there's a difference between being... I'm and I'm not saying extreme. I mean, I think, you know, being arrested, thrown in jail, and going through that experience and then having to do, you know, probation is probably enough for most people to say, wow, that was a mistake. <laughs> but I think, you know, I think the gauge, right, I, I have a tough time with the gauging of the, um, even though there's whatever the number, you know, one point was point one point point one five mm -hmm. in Michigan. Yep. How, I mean, how, how can... That's why, again... That's pretty drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that was when the legislatures respected a drinking man. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> they don't do that anymore. They had the old dial-in deal back then. <laughs> it was the old breathalyzer. Oh, yeah? What did they call that thing? There was some... You had to have special training for that. They had to stick dial... It's like I used to look at that thing because it phased out as I came in and I saw the old one operating. I'm like, this looks like they could make this thing read whatever they wanted it to say. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Of to course me. they did. You know why, Steve? Because probably 99.9% .9 of the time, the officer knew if the person was drunk or not. Right. <laughs> you know? Well, and I might have heard about some guys saying that. Well, yeah, I think he's about a point one two. Nah, in. my God, that shit I think went on with the old breathalyzer dial uh, in. <laughs> those guys, those the testers knew how to dial it in. To here's a, here's a couple other interesting facts. You know that, and then they were the magicians that could testify to the magic of all that. Do, do you know how many other turning of the dial experts <laughs> there are for the defense that have been qualified <laughs> to testify about the accuracy of the data master in Michigan? 